morning here at uh, Coolum Beach. We just stayed in the uh, a motel last night as we're picking up our van from being serviced. Work done on it, um, but that's not till later today at 2:30. Uh, so we just last night we stayed in uh, this Coolum budget accommodation. I think we were the oldest by about 30 years. Do you reckon, Lucy? Probably. Um, yeah, typical backpacker style accommodation, um, communal kitchen. Anyway, it was good. The room was fine. Yep. Fine. So anyway, we're filling in some time now between now and 2:30 to pick up our van. We just come for a drive up to Lowe's Lookout, looking over Coolum Beach. So here's the view, looking north. Hi, we're uh, coming to you from Ingenia, North Noosa Caravan Park, um, not far from Noosa Heads. We picked up our van yesterday, um, it's a big day, transferring everything back from the car into the van. And we've got a few new additions, uh, we've got a, uh, now have a, a skylight in the roof, just here, which we didn't have before. Um, so that's cool, a bit more airflow around um, this end of the caravan, so that's good. Uh, we had some, and I'll show you in a moment, some jerry can holders installed on the front of the van so we can um, carry some extra diesel when we're away from um, service stations like Ampol and Shell, which we, uh, we have to use, so. And all the other things have fixed up, more or less. So yeah, pretty happy with the, the work that did. So uh, yeah, we're just doing a bit of washing this morning and about to have lunch. Um, we thought we'd um, answer some questions. We've had a, uh, a viewer from Glenfield. Glenfield, New South Wales, and from Glenfield. And uh, Anne asks, what did Anne ask, Lucy? Uh, the, she wanted to know about the fridge, how big it was, so I'm not sure. The fridge, so I think it's a 190 litre fridge, um, Anne, so. Um, and a freezer. And freezer. Which is nearly empty. So plenty of room for food for, um, you know, over a week, I'd say. Yeah. One to, one to two weeks, so plenty of storage there. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't have to shop every day. Um, other questions Anne had. She also wanted to know about washing, didn't she? Yeah, laundromats. Laundromats, so look, we, we do do some of our own washing. So we have got a... Um, Washing machine. A washing machine, two and a half kilo washing machine. Um, so uh, we can do, you know, small loads in there. When we do, we usually wash every day, do a small load every day, and it just sort of keeps it under control. And we hang it on the line inside if we're traveling. And I've, yeah, if we're uh, on a traveling day, um, we'll do a wash before we leave. And then I've just got this portable um, clothesline that I've uh, put up. It's just uh, using these fusion lock hooks, which just a vacuum lock you buy from Bunnings. And just one of those elastic um, lines. So we can hang stuff up and um, yeah, normally it's fairly dry by the time we get to our next location. Mm -hmm. And what else did Anne have? If you want to know about shopping, um, so we just shop when we need to. So it could be a week or so uh, before between shops. Depends how much you eat out and that sort of thing. So yeah, I mean, you do have to plan ahead, of course. So I've got to shop probably tomorrow or uh, even later today to stock up the freezer. Um, there's nothing in there apart from bread. And Anne also asked about our um, cooking. Where do we normally cook, oh. inside or outside? So, um, I mean, when the weather's not great, cold or wet, you know, we will use the, uh, the gas cooker inside or um, we can still use our portable induction cooker. We can run that either on, you know, the caravan um, parks, 240 volt power, or we can turn our inverter on and run that either inside or outside. But if the weather's good, um, yeah, we'll, I'll cook outside, either on the inverter, um, using the inverter and the induction cooktop, or using the barbecue. So yeah, it just depends on the, on the weather. So a bit of both. So I think um, that's all the questions Anne had. Mm, pretty sure. Yeah. So uh, thanks for your questions, Anne. But um, 
We're just having a bit of lunch now, and then we're going to go and check out the um, Noosa Heads National Park. Go for a bit of a walk down there. We did a walk a couple of years ago, but didn't finish it, didn't have time. So uh, we're going to uh, do the whole walk today. Um, I'll just show you the jerry can holders while we're at it. We'll have the zone installed for us on the front of the van. And I've just uh, did a stressful morning running around trying to find jerry cans that would actually fit. So I first went to uh, Repco and brought the jerry cans back and they were too wide for these holders. Um, so I had to take those back and I found a super cheap and getting these pro quick ones. So a couple of jerry cans there, um, which will fill up when we uh, when we're on the road again, because uh, when you are towing, you do use a lot more diesel. So we'll do that. And um, this is our spot here in the North Noosa Caravan Park. Quite a nice caravan park. Uh, ben here um, actually guided us in. He was very helpful. So um, he guided us into the spot, into the tight spot to get into. So he was really, really helpful. So. Thanks to Ben from North Noosa. Anyway, time for a bit of lunch and uh, we'll check in when we're on the walk um, at the uh, Noosa Heads National Park. See you then. Here we are, Noosa National Park headland. So, uh, we're here, we're going to wander around, see how far we get. This is the boiling pot. In the right conditions, the power of the surf entering the rocks below creates a surge like a pot of boiling water. Down there. Here it is. Beautiful day here uh, at Noosa. Let the surf is out. This is Tea Tree Bay. Beautiful little bay, really popular with surfers. Great surf out there at the moment. Looking back towards Musa that way. This is Alexandra Bay. So we're parked here in the uh, Ingenia North Musa Caravan Park under a whole lot of palm trees. And um, the nuts have been falling you know, off the palm tree, so the fruit of the palm tree is dropping on the caravan, driving us nuts. Anyway, literally nuts. I've discovered there's uh, bats feeding on the nuts. Let's have a look. Oh. And they're not there. There's the little buggers. Yeah, fruit bats. Chewing on the nuts in the uh, palm tree and dropping them on the van. Give us away. Go away. You annoying little pest. What can we do about them, Lizzie? Get the piss slap, shoot him. <laughs> so we've left uh, Noosa Head this morning and uh, on the road again going north with the caravan in tow. Um, so uh, heading up to a little place called Apple Tree Creek. And my cousin, uh, one of my cousins on my mother's side lives up there, so um, I see him very often. Uh, yeah, we're going to stay at the Apple Tree Creek uh, RV rest stop, uh, free camp, stay overnight. And I've just given him a call and um, yeah, we'll drop in and say good day. Probably end up at the pub with him, I'm sure, having a beer. So uh, yeah, we'll see you uh, at Apple Tree Creek. It's uh, not rainy, so that's good. Um, should be a nice run. See you there. Hey, we're in 
in up Bundaberg today. Uh, got here about 10.30 this morning. Um, and on the way, a bit of a drama, we've now got a big crack in the windscreen. There it is there, I don't know if you can see it, but started out about two inches long at 10.30 this morning. Now it's gone right across my field of view, so that's annoying. We've got to spend three hours tomorrow now at Windscreen's O'Brien getting a new um, windscreen. Anyway, we've booked in here at the, what's it called, Lucy? Campervan. Campervan and Motorhome Club of Australia RV Park in Bundaberg. Yeah, so $15 a night because we're non members. If we, yeah, 40 bucks 40, to join up. Join, plus a one off fee of $16.50. And then it would only be. Uh, $7 a month. Yeah, $3.50 per person. Anyway, we're still undecided about whether we'll join up or not. Or we'll just pay the $15. Yeah. Anyway, we're um, been out to Mon Repo, um, which is the turtle hatchery. Unfortunately, we're a bit late for all the, the turtle hatching. That's from October um, to about March, April. Yeah. Mainly. Pulled up at the Bundaberg Rum Distillery. Not that we're uh, mm -hmm. in rum drinkers or anything, but we're going to go and check it out. My cousin Mark, um, who we stayed with uh, back in Apple Tree Creek. Um, thank you, Mark. He's recommended that we taste the. There's a chocolate liqueur here. Mm. Um. So we're just tasting uh, liqueurs recommended by Mark. I've got the coffee chocolate. Lucy's got the salted caramel. Very nice. Mm. So we dropped off a car at O'Brien's this morning about three hours ago to get the windscreen been on a bit of a walking tour. Went to the Civic Centre. They got a um, orchid show on. Some amazing orchids. I'll stick some photos in. Orchids we've never seen before and they grow so much better up here than they do down our way. Anyway, looks like the car's done. Let's um, go and check it out. I'm sure we've got a windscreen. Look at that windscreen, there's no crack in it. It's a good thing. <laughs> so we've just uh, changed our mind. Um, we didn't like the look of the trap of the rest 1770, so we're at the 1770 Eco Camp now. Um, they've actually got power here, considering there's going to be lots of rain coming. place. Glad we moved. It's like a bit of a dam down here. People might swim in. And it's warm enough. Did you swim in here, Luke? No. Hey? No? No? Not worried about leeches, are you? No, because I'm not going to Just 
continuing our walk around and we just started up a whipper snipper anyway. <laughs> this is our site. Is up several times so we've got a bit of a uh, river of water under the caravan oh no thongs are wet and that's wet it's a very wet day so um a slow morning coffee and um look at what we're going to do next so here we are at Joseph's Banks Regional Park. Um, just arrived here after voting this morning. So we've done our civic duty and voted down at Agnes Waters. Job done, votes in the post, and uh, we're just checking out um, Joseph Banks Regional Park, where Cook landed in 1770, second time in Australia. So we're just gonna go on this walk up to the point. Check it out. Well, we didn't get far. The track's closed. That's annoying, isn't it, Lucy? Yeah, very annoying. Huh? Go by the road, maybe. <sighs> we'll drive up. This is a nice little section of the walk. Up to the point here at uh, 1770. All the trees, all the ferns on the ground. Here we are on the point, 1770, and what did Patrick, your brother, tell you about this spot yesterday, Lucy? Oh, it's the only place on the east coast of Australia where you can watch the sunset and the sunrise. Over water. Over water, yeah. Yeah, so. That's the west, facing west over there. What's the time? Is it about? Uh, 20 to 12. Oh, it's about 12. So there you go, the sun's uh, right above the point there. So you can see it rise over that way somewhere. So this is traditional lands of the saltwater groups Gurring, 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 Tarabalang, Bunda and Balai. Look at this, the sun's come out. Gone for a drive to Workman's Beach, which is near Agnes Waters. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful little beach, this one. Check it out. Can't see anyone swimming, anyway. Just walking along the Workman's Trail, which um, is a bit south of the Workman's Beach we were at a few moments ago, but nice uh, palm forest trail. It's all really well signposted and marked, lookouts and etc. Yeah, it's all nice. Thank you. 